Hi guys, so today I'm going to go over the solution to string compression. That's chapter 1, question 6 from Cracking the Coding Interview. So the question is to implement a method to perform basic string compression using the counts of repeated characters. So basically we want this string right here to become this string right here. And if the compressed string is not smaller than the original string, then the method should return the original string. And also it says you can assume that the string has only uppercase and lowercase letters. Okay, so I have gone ahead and created some test cases so we understand that what a compressed string is. Basically, it's just showing one character and the number of characters right after that. So first, it's important to define our IOCE, our input output constraints and edge cases. So our input is going to be a string. Our output is also going to be a string, the compressed string. So. Okay, and then our constraints, well, we want to optimize, and then for the edge cases, I'll just say empty string and compress string that's the same length as the original. Okay. So to get started, let's write some pseudocode and decide our plan of action. So here is our function, string compression, and I'm writing it with, in JavaScript with ES6. So we only have one input parameter, string, I'm going to call it S. And then, so we want to traverse the string and keep a count, uh, an ongoing count of repeated characters. Okay, string and keep count of repeated characters. Then if the current and the next character is the same, then we will increment count. So if current and next character is the same, then increment count. Okay. Otherwise, then we want to concat our current character and the count to the output string. So because strings are not mutable, then our output is going to be a, a separate string. So concat current character and count to output string. And also we want to remember to reset count to one. Then when we're done with our loop, we are going to return the compressed string, but um, only if the length of the compressed string is less than the original string. And then otherwise, return original string. Okay, there we have. So this is fairly straightforward. So we're gonna let our output equal to the empty string and then we're gonna let count initialize that to one. So now we're gonna create our loop. So for let i equals to zero and while i is less than s dot line, then i plus plus. And I'm going to let current equals to our the current character at index i. Then next is going to be at the character at i plus 1. So if current is equal to next. OK, so if current is equal to next, then we want to increase our count. Otherwise, we want to concat the current, 
character and the count to the output string. So I'm going to say out plus equals. We're going to concat the current plus count. But now, so count is actually a number. So just to be safe, I'm going to turn that into a string first. There we go. And then we want to reset count to one. Okay. So when we get to end of our string, s at i plus one is going to give an undefined value and we'll end up basically finishing this off. It's going to still come into here and it's going to take the current character and the current count, which will either be one or more, and it will finish off the string. So that looks fine. And then we want to return our output string, but only if the length is less than the original. So we'll return out dot length. So we'll check the length and if it's less than the length of our original string, then we'll return out and then otherwise we'll return s, which is our original string. Okay, so now let's test our function. And we can see that all of our test cases pass. So now for time and space complexity. So for time complexity, we only have one for loop. So that's just going to traverse the string once, so it should be linear. So I know that sometimes I'm told that concatting strings in JavaScript can be pretty expensive and has a linear runtime, which means concatting strings inside a for loop like this can end up being pretty expensive. Um, I did a quick search on Stack Overflow and it seems to suggest that based on the benchmarks for performance, the plus equals operator is the fastest method, but that isn't true for every browser. So alternatively, you can always use an array instead and then just join it together at the end, which would still keep the runtime linear for our solution. And then for space complexity, we are only using a set number of variables and it does not change with the length of our string. So space complexity is constant. Okay, great. And that's it for the solution. So if you guys have any questions, corrections, suggestions, or better solution you want to share, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.